Hey guys, my Madness 0978. Extra Terra. And we're finally gonna start making sense of Pokemon. Yes, welcome to episode one of Poke Sense. Um, where we make sense of Pokemon, criticize, and rant about it. So today's episode is well we're gonna We're gonna start covering the egg groups. Yeah. And what really goes on. Well, it's quite hideous actually. Either way. And we'll be covering on um, the subject of the well. Well, we'll, we'll do that for later. We'll cover Shadow Pokemon later. Yes, the, sh the Shadow Pokemon. Okay. Now, first of all, as Chutera has pointed out to me, not all of the Pokemon are reptiles, birds, or insects. Yes, most, the most ma mammal. Perhaps, perhaps one of the most disturbing <coughs> parts about the Pokemon egg groups and breeding is the fact that whenever a Pokemon is born, it comes out of an egg. The only thing is, is that almost that that not every Pokemon is a mammal. Oh my God, this is disgusting. <laughs> as Middleman has just pointed out to me. An example of a breeding is a Cherim and a Pikachu make a Pichu. That's this makes no disturbing. sense. To say, this is a plant and a yellow rat. And they it's want a mouse, not a rat. They want to have a child. That is disgusting. The more disturbing thing is that the male Cherim. Oh. Ah. <laughs> That's even more disturbing thing is that Cherry was a male. <laughs> That's sad, actually. It's, so to start off with the no A group, as we well know, if you're watching this, most Pokemon that cannot have eggs legendaries. are legendaries <coughs> and baby Pokemon. However, the exception to this are Nidorino and Nita Queen. Nidorina and Nita Queen. Because for some reason, the Pokemon Company thinks it right for two all female Pokemon to not be able to have eggs when the uh, male two. counterparts can. Yes. Very, very strange. Sense. But the thing is is that their basic evolution, Nidoran, somehow can have eggs. What the heck? Yeah. <coughs> bug group. What kind of disgusting things have made Amy in the bug 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 group. type Pokemon. Wait. Okay, I've just discovered something actually mentally disturbing here. On this? Gliscor's in the bug group. I, I think that's based off of bug. Uh, what about Flygon? It's a dragon type. It doesn't... I guess it bears some resemblance. Oh, but yeah, if you think a, a Flygon and a Caterpie <laughs> want to good. have an A, that doesn't make any sense. Of course it doesn't. Ugh, God, that's disgusting. You're the one who said a caterpie, no. Either way, um, well, the plant group. We will probably have like two episodes of this because Chutera has plenty of ranting to go around here. But <laughs> and well, well, I'll, we might have three episodes because we're gonna cover all the egg groups and we're gonna say the ground group for last, which the is by far the most mentally disturbing. The plant group. Oh my God. Um, actually all of these make sense. Well, I'm just thinking. Except for one fact, guys. They're plants. Torterra. They're plants. Yeah, don't they make it through cross-pollination with their own breeds? No, they Pretty could They much. could do, like, hybrid plants. Or they just make things. seeds. Like, oh. Lotad and Obama Snow. Right. Yeah. Lotad well, Obama. you are the one who keeps on picking a an evolved Pokemon and then a basic Pokemon. Well, they're in the same egg group, so you can. Why would they do that then? They should make it like basic Pokemon can only go with basic Pokemon. Because remember when you're when that's not how it works. You know, remember when you had your Vaporeon or something in your Espeon or your Umbreon in your Espeon, and they're brother and sister, and they were doing that. Oh yeah. You can't do your mother or and your son. You can't do your. <laughs> father and your daughter but you could do your brother and sister uh, it's not like that kind of dude it's like that was um, you can make your oh god that's <laughs> <laughs> you just made this mentally disturbing on a different level and that was an Umbreon and Espeon it actually makes a lot of sense because oh god that's so still a flying group what do we have here well, they were brother and sister though <laughs> most of this makes sense um I don't think I can really call Altaria 
I mean, guess that makes sense. Uh, I can't really come up with any criticism for the flying Negro. Aerodactyl. No, it flies. It's got wings. Uh, Aerodactyl and Chatot, though. Huh? There's Crobat. Farfetch'd a Shiggy. That actually makes sense. Huh? Skarmory and Pelipper. Skarmory and Aerodactyl. Uh, yeah, so yeah, we can't really rant on the flying one, actually. Yeah. I can't wait, I can't wait to get wait. some of the newer ones. Yeah, we can't, because most of these are actually bird types. Yeah. Except for Togekiss. Mm -hmm. I'm not really sure what it is. Okay, the human-like group. Oh, boy. It's Lucario. Oh, okay. Let's see. Hold on a minute there. Rylou's not in there, though. Oh, Riley's probably the one from the like. Yeah. yeah Baby Pokemon. Hariyama. Oh, goodness. And Loop. And <laughs> Lopini. If I believe Lopini is described as a beauty Pokemon, but why in the world would it want a Hariyama as a mate? Better question why does it want a Sableye? <laughs> why is Sableye <laughs> in here? <laughs> oh, dude, let's see him. Abra and Cacturn. Okay, first of all, the only reason Abba's probably in here is because of his later evolutions. But, then, <coughs> but, but the thing is, is that Abra, who, mm, God knows what the heck he is, and a cactus. I think Abra's a cat, like Mew. Doesn't look too much like it. Look at no, Mew. No, no, he, he can't be a cat. Why not? He's got ears like a Because he evolves into an Alakazam, just because the ears are it, first of all. But he, then, that means that some point or another, Abra's going to want to have a mate in Cacturn. Good Cactuses. God. Wonderful. Let's move on to the fairy group. Which, for some reason, Snowrun is one of my favorite villains. Can't lie. But because of Snowrun in there, we got Galalee and Frostless in there. Which, one is a giant ball of ice and another one is a freaking hollow soul. Wait, those are legendary Pokemon. Don't, they don't have gender. Fiona and Manaphy are part of the fairy egg group. Oh my god. Good point. Well, that's what Chairman Pikachu made. Ew. Oh, Skitty. <laughs> we'll get Skitty. Later. We'll get White Noah. So it's Skitty. <laughs> See, what do we have here? We have a Gramble and Meryl. Good. Hi. Hi. Charmander. Oh my god, that's gross. Frostlass and Plusle. What? Noah, what's wrong with me? Uh. Alright, let's go on to the monster group. This is a weird angle. This is a really weird angle. Monster group time. Um. Dude, let's just say Licky Licky and Chikorita had attractions to each other. What would you do? <laughs> I'd shoot one of them. <laughs> I'd shoot the Licky Licky because Chikorita has a chance. Be something better. <laughs> <laughs> so there's not as many problems with the monster group. The monster group's pretty well rounded, actually. Except for a few exceptions, like Chikorita. And <laughs> Crane Dose and Genghis Khan. <laughs> it's Gang. It's it's, it's Khan. <laughs> it's Genghis Khan. It's it's Genghis Khan. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Let's move on to the Dragon Group. Charizard. I'm not supposed to fix it. Arbok. What? Septile. Magikarp. Feebas. <laughs> what the heck? Um, so Viper, what the heck? Oh, we can rant here. Well, we'll be back with the next part soon.